Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. This is my third video on the topic of finding the equation of a line. And in this particular example, it asks us to find the equation of a line containing the point 3, 1 and is perpendicular to the line 9x plus 3y equals 2. And in all my other videos, I always told you that you always need two pieces of information to find the equation of a line. Like I said, like a point and a slope, or a point and another point, you always need two pieces of information. And in this one, they only give us one point. That's it. They give us the point 3, 1, and they don't give us another point, and they don't give us the slope. But what they do tell us, that it is perpendicular to another line, negative 9x plus 3y equals 2. And because they tell us it's perpendicular to that line, they are actually giving us the slope. We are going to use that information of that line to find the slope. Okay? Um, so let's just uh, get started with this example, and it'll make a lot more sense once we get started. So I just rewrote the information that was given to us. Uh, this line contains the point 3, 1, and it is perpendicular to the line negative 9x plus 3y equals 2. And I wrote the directions for you on the left-hand side of the screen in green, and the directions have never changed. Uh, the first uh, step in all finding the equation problems is we've got to find the slope. And in order to find the slope, we need to put this equation in slope-intercept form. Okay? Um, in order to put this equation in slope-intercept form, in other words, what we have to do is we just have to solve it for y, we have to get y by itself. Okay? So in order to get y by itself, I'm just going to add 9x to both sides. On the left-hand side, the negative 9x and the positive 9x cancel out, and we are just left with a 3y. And on the right-hand side, we are left with a 9x plus 2. So in order to get this equation in slope-intercept form, we need to get y by itself. Okay, so in order to get y by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Notice how the 3's cancel, and we do get y by itself. 9x divided by 3 is a 3x, and 2 thirds cannot be simplified. So now we have this equation in slope-intercept form, and once you have the equation in slope-intercept form, it is very easy to find the slope because the slope is always the constant in front of the x term. So since we have a constant of 3 in front of the x term, we know that the slope is 3. And to make this problem easier to explain later on, instead of writing 3 as a whole number, I'm going to write it as a fraction. So instead of writing it as 3, I'm going to write the slope as 3 over 1. Okay, so we know that the slope of this line is 3 over 1. And we know that the slope that we're trying to find is perpendicular to that. Okay, so that's why I wrote perpendicular, or perp, underneath the m. Okay, and one thing that we know is that the perpendicular slope is always the negative reciprocal. And what that means is the reciprocal is always when you flip the numerator and the denominator. So instead of writing 3 over 1, I'm going to write 1 over 3, okay? And it's always the negative reciprocal. Um, so it, since it's a positive in this line that we found earlier, um, it's going in the line we're trying to find, it's going to be a negative. So the perpendicular slope of 3 over 1 is negative 1 over 3. So now we have a point 3, 1, and we have a slope negative 1 third. So now we have our two pieces of information that we need in order to find the equation of the line. Um, so now we can move on to step number two, and we can use our point-slope formula. So I'm just going to rewrite the information that was given to us again. We have a given point of 3, 1, and we have a slope of negative 1 over 3. And the point-slope formula, once again, this is my third video, so you probably should know it by now. This is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. 
Okay, and this point up here, our x value for this point is our x1, and our y value for this point is our y1. And the purpose of this point slope equation is we want to fill in our y1, we want to fill in our slope, and we want to fill in our x1. So let's plug all our information in. We have y minus y1. Our y1 is 1, is equal to our slope. Our slope, which is m, which is negative 1 third, multiplied by x minus x1, our x1 is a 3. So now we have found the equation in point slope form. So now we have our answer in point slope form. However, most of your textbooks want you to express your answer in slope intercept form. So in order to express your answer in slope intercept form, the only thing you have to do is get y by itself. Okay? Once again, you want to solve for y, get y by itself, and then you'll have it in slope intercept form. Um, so in order to get this equation uh, to get y by itself, um, the first thing you could do, doesn't have to be in this order, is I want to distribute and get rid of this parentheses. So the left hand side stays the same. Negative one third times x is negative one third x. And negative one third times negative three is positive one. Now to get y by itself, we need to get rid of this negative one. Um, so in order to get rid of this negative one, I'm going to add one to both sides. And the negative one and the positive one cancel out. And we're left with y is equal to negative one third x. Positive one and positive one give us a positive two. And this is our final answer in slope intercept form. So I hope this video helped you understand finding the equation of a line just a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, that is mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like the way I teach and you enjoy watching my videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see some more. Once again, thank you so much for watching my video, and take care.